She doesn't know him, I do. Weird flex, but okay. It's time for love after luck up, baby. Christiana and John. Hmm. Got Bonnie and Clyde on this car. He's got Bonnie and Clyde written on his truck. He is serious about his Bonnie and Clyde stuff. And I'm trying to stay out of the house a little bit and keep busy because Tara is packing up and getting ready to leave. So he's scared of Tara. He's in his own house. He's completely scared of this woman. Hmm. Usually it's like you can't be around a fella. So the whole overcharge thing is kind of not believable to me. So she doesn't believe that they cannot be in the same household just because she has an open charge. She thinks it has to be obviously a felon, you know, somebody that's come out of prison cannot be around a felon. But this open charging is new to her. Now, I do not know if Christiana just made that up. I don't think so. She doesn't know what's going on in the house, allegedly, possibly. But yeah, it, it, it is it is a new one for me. Maybe that's a thing. I don't know. It might differ from state to state and place to place, but hey. Bobby. I don't know if that's just an excuse to get me to leave because, you know, we thought maybe we had feelings for each other. Got a car on the way. Why do these people talk like that? Why do they talk like that? <laughs> I had to debuke. We had to go to the ex's house for a little while. So this Dubuque, they keep talking about, that's that horrible place that they thought Christian had gone to where all the hoo 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 stuff is and all the people you do not want to be around when you're trying to get away from that stuff and that lifestyle. That's where she's going. She's going back to her ex. So this is extremely toxic because these are the type of people that they were trying to get her away from. That's why she was living with John for a whole nine months. And now she's going back there. Like I said in the last video, these people do not have a plan. They do not have a plan at all. For their own lives hey if this john thing doesn't work out where am i going and it's sad because you know they've come out of prison and i don't know how easy it is to find a job all these type of things i don't know if she wants to find a job i don't know what she wants to do with her life what she can do in her life but there was no plan in the whole nine months she was just there and he was just providing for them and that was it and they i don't know if they thought they were all just gonna live there have kids and all these things in that same household like i don't know what the problem what 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 the I don't know what they were thinking or maybe do some sister wife type thing with actual sisters Blech. really hard i didn't even get to say goodbye to the kids <laughs> yeah she didn't get a chance to say goodbye to the kids um i'm just figuring out that this guy has kids apparently he's got like four or something like that i saw that somewhere or read that somewhere i don't even know but what and why are we, well anyway we have no business seeing those kids to be honest they're just not part of the storyline it's probably better to be honest that is lucky John has recently bought a lot of not a lot of new things, you know, cars, the pool, um, you know, new furniture, the house is getting all redone. And it wasn't like that when I came here. But I don't know, he was in prison for 14 years for fraud. Where is he getting all these things? Oh. Ooh! The plot thickens. Where is he getting all these things from? I mean he works. We know that he works because we've seen We've seen him, you know, come back from work and stuff like that. But what does he do? Where's all? The, where are all these new fancy luxury things coming from? Like she said, Christiana is lucky because when I came here, I didn't have all these things. This woman is not happy for Christiana at all, but that's because her life is not in order. And you have some people that if they're not okay, nobody can be okay, including their own sister. So yeah, she's kind of sad that Christiana is going to enjoy all these luxuries while she has to skedazzle to her ex in a terrible place. But yet, this is a curious thing. So he was in prison for 14 years for fraud. We knew he'd gone to prison, but I didn't know it was that long. 14 years is really, really long. He just says it like, oh yeah, I was an ex-inmate. You went in there for more than a decade. If that's true, then that's serious. And yeah, so where is he getting this stuff from? I can visit my sister when she gets out. You can't do that. If Christiana saw me and Tara together, she would know right away that there was a couple of sparks flying and so you guys would really be like <laughs> when Christiana is around you guys cannot compose yourself you guys cannot man up and woman up and be like look the deal is this because that that brings freedom it brings freedom when you're just clear and open with her it's not like Christiana has anywhere to go none of these people have anywhere to go so all will be forgiven and you just keep your, you, you just live your life. But to sneak around and be hiding, she's going to find out one way or the other. I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm going to give my sister some time to settle in and get to know John a little bit and stuff. But we have a lot. Imagine, 
get to know John a little bit. The way she's saying it, she's like, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna let her, you know, I'm just letting, gonna let her little, you know, just a little, settle a little bit, you know, do her thing. And then, you know, I'm just gonna, as if this stuff is in your hand. My friend, you're not allowed in the house. You're not around anywhere around them. You're not around to monitor how she's gonna eh, uh, get to know John a little bit. And da -da -da. Cause she now feels like she has the upper hand because she has nine months more experience of being with John or, you know, than Christiana herself. Wild. Well, you know, she doesn't know him, I do. Weird flex, but okay. It won't be long, I'll be back. No, don't be back. Don't be back. We don't want to see you back. Deal with your core things and all your all your uh, things that you're doing. And then when everything is hunky-dory, then you can come. It's not like you really cared about your sister so much. You've had a whole nine months with this John guy and with your mom. You've had your fair share. Now you go figure out what you need to do in your life and, and go figure out a plan B, which you didn't have before. Go and figure it out now. Um, But yeah. The, the entitlement is crazy and the flexing is weird and out of place because like for what for why and but why because why hmm. anyway she feels that she has the upper hand because she spent all this time so if you spend all this time you obviously don't really care about your sister because you're here trying to steal her man so don't pretend that it's because your sister that you want to come back to the house and come and visit no you want to see what's good with the pool what's good with the new cars what's good with all that new stuff that john has been you know working up in the house that's what you want to see and see if you can woo him the tarot tarot will be coming from wherever the book or wherever she is and she'll be walking into this house and be like john did you steal my phone and everybody will be like um tara you can just you just walked in here yeah that stuff is not gonna last for long this flirtation situation <coughs> throw it in the bean whack in any case if you're not already part of this family make sure you hit bump stump as on turn a subscribe button comment because i really want to know what you think like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while you at it i'll see you in the next video which will be tomorrow daily videos up in here in the meantime make time for glorious life it's time to say oh what living it right god bless mm -hmm.